everyone, welcome back to my channel. So recently Cameron and I have acquired a lot of really nice new books and because of this we thought it was about time that we went through our entire book collection and basically decided which of the books we didn't really want to keep anymore. I like to do this every now and again and kind of make sure my collection is just made up of books I love and really want to read and is quite representative of my reading taste. So there were definitely some that we had in our collection that it was about time we got rid of. So we've made a little pile of all the books that we want to donate for whatever reason and I thought I would just make a video and tell you about them all. Bon hauls are just kind of fun to watch aren't they? I don't really know why I like watching them so much but I do so I thought you might like hearing about the ones I'm getting rid of. So I'm going to talk to you about these in no particular order. I'm just going to pick them off the pile and tell you about them. And the first one that we're going to be unhauling is The Girls by Emma Klein. So this is a book that was everywhere on booktube a year or two ago now. And it was so popular. This book was absolutely everywhere. I think it was over a summer that everyone was reading it and loving it. And so I decided to get it at the time and see what all the hype was about it wasn't worth it. So this is a book about a young teenage girl called Evie in 1969 during a hot summer in California when she basically becomes involved in a cult. This book was okay, it was quite enjoyable whilst I read it, it was a good summer read, it was quite gripping and quite interesting, but the writing wasn't very good, I didn't think the characters were particularly well developed, and I just didn't really think it was anything special. I'm never going to reread this, Cameron is never going to read it, and so I thought it was about time we got rid of it. The next book that we're getting rid of is one that I feel like I've talked about so much here on my channel recently. It was in my most disappointing books of the year video, and that is A Boy in Winter by Rachel Seifert. This is a World War II novel set in 1941 in a small town in Ukraine when the SS take over. It's not very good. It has <laughs> quite a lot of good ideas and a lot of good elements. It has multiple perspectives and the small town setting is really interesting, but it just wasn't great. I didn't care about the characters. I wasn't invested in the story. And ultimately the really shocking, hard hitting moment at the end just didn't really affect me. This was just a disappointment. It was fine. It was about a 2.5, three star read. I'm never gonna read it again and so it needs to go. The next book that we're unhauling is a book that I actually kind of hate and I've no idea why I haven't gotten rid of it sooner and that is Our Endless Number Days by Claire Fuller. This is a book about a young girl called Peggy who is eight years old and her father takes her to live in the wilderness in a cabin and basically tells her that the rest of the world has been destroyed. This book could have been great. I kind of like the premise. I think it sounds really intriguing. I like child protagonists. I love kind of books that have a bit of mystery around them and magic, which this certainly did. But this was bad. It was kind of boring up until the point when it was really quite offensive. Claire Fuller used abuse and sexual abuse as a really shocking plot twist and just device which I found really offensive. I think she handled it really insensitively and there was a lot of things that I have problems with in here. I didn't like this at all. It needs to get off my shelves. The next one that we're getting rid of is actually one that neither of us have read and that is Snap by Belinda Bauer. So I received this book in the post last year when it made the man book a long list. I don't really know anything about it other than it is crime. I heard pretty bad things about this. A lot of people were totally bemused as to why it made the man book a list and people who read a lot of crime were saying that it wasn't even a particularly good crime book. There's so much more crime out there that is so much better than this and so don't really waste your time on this. I don't particularly read crime books anyway and since that kind of man booker phase has passed I just don't really think I'm gonna get to this. I do have a couple of other crimey books on my shelves that I'm more excited for and so this just needs to go. <laughs> the next book that we're getting rid of is one that I read a couple of years ago and it was pretty meh and that is How to Build a Girl by Caitlin Moran. Honestly I don't really remember anything about what happened in this book. I know that it's about a teenage girl and it's a kind of coming of age thing but it didn't make any kind of lasting impression on me. It also didn't really impress me that much while I was reading it. I was quite disappointed while I was reading it. I'd heard really great things about Caitlin Moran as a person and about her other books and I remember reading it and thinking 
This is so mediocre on so many levels. I'm never gonna reread this, Cameron's never gonna read it, it can go. The next book that we're getting rid of is a tiny little short story and that is The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. I don't really remember where I got this from, I think I might have got it free with something, but at the time I'd recently read Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn which I absolutely loved and so in my head I was like I'd love to read more Gillian Flynn at some point if I'm in the mood for something like that again then I'll pick this up. Two years later and I've never picked this up <laughs> and couple that with the fact that Cameron did actually read this at one point and he thought it was nothing special and I'm never gonna read this. The next book that I'm getting rid of I actually have two copies of and that is The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh. I'm gonna put one of these down because this is pointless. <laughs> so this is a book that I received once again from publishers when this made the man book a long list last year. I have two copies because I received one from the publisher and one from the people at the man booker. I hated this book. If you've watched some of my videos you've probably heard me talk about this before. If you want to hear why I didn't like this book then go and watch my worst books of the year video that I put up recently. I vent about it there. <laughs> this is a pretty shit book and I don't want it on my shelves anymore. Cameron's never gonna read it and so it can go. Side note, if anybody from work is watching this video and you want any of these books before I donate them then just let me know and I'll bring them in for you. <laughs> the next book that we're getting rid of is a poetry collection and it was another one that was in my worst reads of 2018 video and that one is Wild Embers by Nikita Gill. This is a contemporary feminist poetry collection that I just didn't really get on with. I didn't find much skill in the poetry or much beauty in the poetry. I didn't really connect to it on an emotional level. And overall there was just nothing here for me to get my teeth stuck into and it just wasn't really for me. Cameron doesn't really read much poetry and when he's in the mood for poetry it's usually not this kind of thing so we're gonna pass on this one. The penultimate book that we're gonna get rid of is actually more Cameron's book and that one is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. So I believe this is a companion novel to the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. The Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson is a brilliant epic fantasy series. Both Cameron and I have read it and we really like it. We think Brandon Sanderson is pretty fab, although not as good as Patrick Rothfuss, he would say. But while we both really enjoyed Mistborn, Cameron said that this wasn't really that good. I believe it's set in the same world, but much later on, and he wasn't bothered about it, he's not going to carry on with this series, and I'm not bothered about it, so we're going to pass this on. And the final book that we're getting rid of is one that I had a little bit of a hard time deciding to let go of, and that is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. So this is a very well-loved historical fiction novel that is set during World War II, and it is one I've been meaning to read for so many years. I think I bought this book about four years ago now, and it's always been one that I thought, oh, I should get round to that, I'd probably really enjoy that, other people really enjoy it, but I've never picked it up, so that says something, doesn't it? <laughs> I think this was a case of buying it because of the hype, when maybe it wasn't something I was really that interested in reading myself, and I think I'm just kidding myself if I keep it on my shelves for more years. I think that is basically a waste of shelf space. <laughs> Plus, Cameron actually did read this, I think, a year or two ago, and he didn't think it was that amazing. He wasn't then telling me, oh, you should definitely read it. So this one is finally going to go. So those are all the books that we're going to be getting rid of at some point soon. I'm not that sad about it, to be honest. I kind of like having a declutter through our shelves every now and again. And then I feel so much more excited and better about our collection. Have you read any of these books that we're getting rid of? I'd really like to hear your opinions on them. To be honest, if you think they're amazing, we're probably not going to keep them anyway, but I'm interested as ever. <laughs> I hope you're all doing really well and I hope you enjoyed hearing about these books that I'm deciding to pass on and give a new home to. And I will hopefully see you next week with my next video. Bye guys.